Hey, this is Taylor with how to create some cool PowerPoint background ideas for your slides using the PowerPoint designer feature. So if I come to the design tab and I come and open design ideas, notice that PowerPoint is going to generate a bunch of different slide ideas for me. And notice how adding a picture is the fastest way to improve the quality of your slides. And I'm also going to show you in this video how to break out these background pieces. So these background rectangles, for example, are set on my PowerPoint background. So I'm going to show you how to rip those out so that you can add them to your slide master. So if you struggle with design, the designer feature is a cool way to design or come up with a bunch of new layout ideas to help get you to happy hour. And your first little designer hack is notice if I come to a slide with designer already open. All right. So I come to the slide with designer already open. I'm going to get one set of options. All right. So if I just click through these, this is a smart art graphic. So this is just using text or smart art to come up with a visual layout. Like I show how to do in my four things you didn't know about video in the upper right hand corner. But just again, notice the different options I have here. So I came to this slide with designer open, but if I control Z to undo back to the blank slide, I close out of designer and I come back up to designer. I'm going to get typically a different subset of options. Notice here, some of these options are completely different, including now I'm getting these options with an icon. Now, the cool thing here about designer before we move on is you can manipulate these different shapes. All right. Obviously all your text, you can still work with this background element. I'm again, going to show you how to rip out of PowerPoint so you can use it however you want, but you can also just come in and right click change graphic. So these graphics are just being added from the new icon set. The PowerPoint is added to the new office 365. You can just scroll through here. Let's say that we're working on a retail project. I'll select a shopping cart, select insert the shopping carts added and all of the design ideas now incorporate that shopping cart idea. And again, adding a visual element, even if it's just a small, something like this is the fastest way I can think of to improve the quality of your slides. But a better way is to go with pictures. So if I come to the next slide, let's say that this is a meeting agenda that somebody wants us to make. And I'm going to close out of design ideas for now. And because we work for the zoo, these are the images that somebody wants us to incorporate into that meeting agenda. Well, with designer, because I have mindset to automatic, I can just control C to copy, come to the slide and control V to paste to automatically generate those design ideas. Now, if you're not seeing this automatically pop up, simply come up to the file tab, simply come to options. And here in the general options, just look for PowerPoint designer. Now this is an office 365 feature. So if you don't have office 365, you can't use it, but if yours is grayed out or not working, check out my other video for six reasons why your designer might not be working. But now that I have this picture on my slide with my text, notice I can just click through these different options. Now going with a full screen visual image like this is often the, the best way to go with your pictures. And there's some Photoshop like effects you can pull off here in PowerPoint that you can check out um, in the description box below. I have an entire training course on how to do that. But again, at this level, you're just looking for inspiration. Now, the cool thing about designer as far as pictures is it can take up to six pictures, which is why I have six pictures here. I'll control C to copy. I'll go back to my slide. Let's say I kind of like this, but I want to add control V to paste all of those pictures. Again, designer is going to knock those out for you. Just giving you some rough ideas. You can move the pictures around. You can do anything you want. If you don't want six pictures, let's delete the leopard, select it, hit delete. All right, designer will go back to work for you. So you're just looking for different ideas. And let's say for this example that I like the way this slide is laid out, except I don't want these to be pictures. I want to use this as a design element on my slide master. And notice here, there's another good little point. If I zoom back in, notice how the tiger is kind of cut off because this is a picture. I can just right click format picture, come to the picture icon come to the crop options and then notice that these offsets. All right. This is just a picture within a shape. So you can still massage these pictures around um, here in PowerPoint. So you aren't just stuck with what you have. So I'm going to show you how to break all of these out. But before I do that, just keep in mind this important six one one rule designer only works with up to six pictures, one table, or one chart. So this is a, a big heads up. If your designer is not working, make sure that you aren't breaking this six one one rule. All right. So let's now break this apart. So if you want to free up all of these shapes, including this one on the back, you want to just hit control a to select everything on your slide. You want to add an outline. I'm just going to add a black outline. Don't worry about the outline to the slide. I'm going to delete the text because I just want the background elements for my slide. 
You're gonna control C to copy your slide. I'm gonna go to a blank slide. You wanna paste special. You can either control alt V on your keyboard, control alt V to paste special, or from the paste dropdown, select paste special. All right, this is gonna open up your enhanced meta file options. Another PowerPoint trick not a lot of people know about. Click okay. It's going to add a picture to your slide of the slide, which will perfectly stretch out on your slide space. And the beauty of a meta file is you can ungroup it. So control shift G once will break the meta file. Control shift G a second time. And what that has done, because we've added those background or those shape outlines, is it's allowed us to add those shapes to our slide. Now, when you do this, depending on how much stuff is on your slide, if you open up the selection pane, Alt F10 on your keyboard or open up the selection pane here. All right, you might see a bunch of extra objects that you need to delete. I would definitely do that before you turn this into your slide master. But what this allows you to do now is to format these, all right, any way you want. You can, you know, make them green. You can even, drawing tools, format tab, shape fill, eyedropper, click and hold to eyedrop anything on your computer screen. I'll do that again. I'll select the next object. Shape fill, eyedropper, click and drag. Maybe I'm gonna grab this PowerPoint blue, something like that. Whatever you do, I'm just gonna quickly do this. I'll just make these kind of a lighter gray. Let's say that this is the, I'll just, whoops. I will make these a darker color. Let's say that this is the um, slide background idea I wanna go with. Now that these are all individual shapes, I can actually take them, control X to cut them. I can shift, hit the normal view to go to my slide master, come to my parent slide, control V to paste, and that's going to push them onto my slide master. If you need help creating a PowerPoint template, check out Camille's PowerPoint template video sequence. But either way, that is a super fast and easy way that you can start to crank out your PowerPoint backgrounds with designer. So if you aren't comfortable to design, I would definitely recommend checking out this new feature. If you want to keep up to date on our latest PowerPoint hack trickery, so PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks to help get you to happy hour, make sure to subscribe here on our channel to keep up to date. Or if you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets, free courses, and other resources that we've created, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.